So we're moving on to the entertainment features in this Acadia range. Uh, we have a Pioneer stereo, a standard now on the vehicle. Uh, the source button is what turns the stereo either on or off. As you can see, there's off. I'm going to bring it back onto the radio. Well, I've turned the volume down because we've got it tuned into Steve Wright in the afternoon <laughs> at the moment. Uh, we haven't got a CD now built onto these. What we do have is uh, the USB port and also a three and a half mil jack connector for additional equipment that might attach in and play uh, music off other appliances. Yes, they're Pioneer speakers, of course. If we've got a Pioneer head, we're going to have Pioneer speakers. Uh, and they're on the corner pods on either side. And then the uh, reception that we get for the radio, where it picks up its uh, supply from, is off the actual television aerial. So it's a, I'll call it a combi unit. It does both the uh, aerial coax for TV, and it also does the radio reception, which is the black wire there. And the little red wire that we see is literally the power supply going onto the head to uh, boost the signal. I've raised this aerial up already. Uh, so normally you'd see this aerial like so fully down retracted and with the H or that particular window green H I'll point it around so you can see it um, and also for transit I want it facing rearward in this particular case going in that direction so the airflow that comes over the top of the caravan isn't forcing the aerial to lift up so we, in this particular case we have it facing backwards but for reception I raise it I rotate it to find the best position which is about there for myself and just lock up the lock nut when we arrive on site I also use other caravanners to find out where they're already facing with their aerials because that's always helpful and we can also change the pitch of this particular area from horizontal to vertical so by rotating cranking this handle we've now changed the head from horizontal from horizontal position so it's now vertical um, and the way I know that that's there is I can't pull that now back down because I've hit in the roof. So that's one way of uh, possibly improving reception. Um, and from here, I'm going to bring it back to the horizontal location, which is what it should be for transit. And I'm rotating that and I can't turn that anymore. So that's now in the correct location. From there, the signal comes into an amplifier. It says digital amplifier, TV amplifier. So that's boosting the signal that we are getting to uh, improve the picture quality. And there is a way of increasing or decreasing that amplification. That's on maximum now. And finally, there's a switch just there to turn the booster head on and off. And while I've also got this uh, exposed, there is one, a couple of more things I need to let you know about. This is the switch that we operates the service light on the outside of the caravan. So on the off side, there's an external, almost like an awning light, which illuminates the service area where your battery would be water connections, mains hook up all in that same area. But there is one more feature up here that I want you to be aware of. And I did mention there's an external coaxial point on the outside in the battery box. Well, this is the other end of that cable. And that cable, you remove the white one, which is coming off the aerial head, and you put that black one into that location instead of the white. Uh, and then what that would do is give you an outside external um, uh, aerial source from the supplier of the site where you're staying at they sometimes give you provide you aerial uh, points on the on the main hookup post that has to go in there and then what that would feed would be down onto this uh, tv point which is going to be the coaxial point there the f connector which is this threaded one it says sat and it's for an external satellite and again in the battery box you find the other end of that cable and it's also got a thread on it so that is the entertainment facilities that we have in this uh, Acadia range. Thank you.